Hey folks, Ty Pennington here. And if you've been watching the segments on making your home more comfortable and energy efficient, then by now you've got a good handle on the big ticket energy items like heating and cooling and water heating. And I hope you've already started taking steps that will save you some money on your energy bill. There are also a lot of other little things you can do to bring big savings on your power bill. Quite frankly, some of them are as simple as changing out your light bulbs. Here are a few more. As Ty said, changing out your light bulbs is an easy way to save energy and money on your electric bills. There are several energy efficient bulbs available compared to incandescent, but we recommend using LED bulbs. Not only are LEDs the most energy efficient bulb on the market, they can last anywhere from 20,000 to 50,000 hours or up to five times longer than any comparable bulb. When looking at a 60 watt incandescent bulb, the price of running that single bulb for 20 years is roughly $360. The price of running a 60 watt LED equivalent for the same amount of time is only $72. The 20 year savings on replacing a single bulb with an LED would be $288. But change 40 light bulbs in your house and suddenly you're saving $11,500 over 20 years. And regardless of the type of bulb you use, always turn the lights off when not in use. Lighting controls and room sensors are a great way to do this when you have kids living at home. Another easy area of focus for energy efficient living is the thermostat itself. Set your thermostat to 78 degrees in the summertime and 68 degrees in the wintertime. For every degree that you vary from that recommended setting, you're going to see a 3 to 5% increase in your energy costs. Smart thermostats do the work for you. Many of them learn your family temperature settings and automatically adjust the thermostat. Room sensors can also learn when your family is away at school or work and set back the temperature while you're gone. You know, the way you use energy every day around the house will help you save money and save energy. Hot water use can be a big ticket item for many families. Another thing you can do throughout the house is install water flow restrictors or low flow faucets on all sinks and showers. This lowers your overall water consumption and the amount of hot water required for the bathrooms. It's all about the simple things, like closing your exterior doors to keep the heat or the cool in or out where it belongs. When you do your laundry, try to do your laundry in cold water. All of these things are very simple and inexpensive. Okay, so let's recap. Pretty cool stuff, right? So what are you waiting for? Go to jacksonemc.com and get started with your own do-it-yourself energy audit. Take it from your old buddy Ty. I've got a feeling you'll find a few things that can make your home more comfortable and save you some money on your energy bill too.